If you are a civil engineer preparing for government job, salary of IAS officer excites you the most. Content creators and coaching people have made it look huge online. WhatsApp mein screenshots fly out hote rehte hain, telegrams mein post aate rehte hain ki salary itni hai, utni hai. But actual mein ek IAS officer ke bank account mein kitni salary hit karti hai. Does this change with the department or with the location of posting? In this video, we are going to deep dive into salary of an IAS officer. How much is it and what factors influence it? And who am I to say this? I am Manas Deh, civil engineer, IAS officer currently working in CPWD and I have been getting this salary since past 7 years. So today, we are going to break down the salary of an IAS officer. The basic, the DA, the HRA, the special allowances and all of it. ESC 2026 notifications are already out and very soon you will be given choices for filling the department preferences. And it's very important that you know how your salary gets affected by the departments. So watch this video till the end to get more details about the departments and the salaries you will get in those departments. A quick note before I start the video, the rules of the salary keeps on changing. The figures that I'm going to give you today are from 2025 and these figures may change in future but the structure remains more or less the same. Alright, the first part is basic pay. This is the first and most important part of your salary. As an IS officer, you enter at level 10 and at level 10, as per 7 CPC, you get 56,100 rupees. Well, that's your starting pillar and things add up with respect to this basic salary. The second part that comes is dearness allowance. This is the second most important part of your salary. The DA takes care of the inflation of the market. Usually, there will be two revisions of DA in a year and the revisions will be in the range of 3 to 4%. So, on an average, the DA increases by 7% a year. Since India's inflation rate is also in the range of 6 to 7%, so it takes care of the inflation that is there in our country. And this percentage is added to the basic. So, if the current DA is 55% and your basic salary is 56,100, then the salary becomes 56,100 into 1.55 times. Alright, after DA, the next part that comes is HRA. Now, this is a component that takes care of your housing allowance. If you are in a classic city, that is a metropoly, then your rate of HRA will be 30% of your basic pay. If you are in a class Y category city, that's tier 2 cities generally, then your HRA will be 20% of your basic. And similarly, if you are in a class Z city, that's tier 3 and below cities, then your HRA will be 10% of the basic pay. Of course, this part is payable only if you are not taking government accommodation. If you are taking government accommodation, this part will not be payable to your salary. A quick note, if you are just joining the service, I highly advise you to take the government accommodation because the price you pay for the government accommodation gives you much better facilities as compared to that that you will get outside. Now, these three components make the most of the gross of your salary. But wait, there are other components as well. The next important component that comes is transport allowance. The transport allowance for entry-level IAS officers will be 7200 rupees a month. And along with that, there will be a DA component of that. So whatever the existing DA is there, that component will also be added your transport allowance. So you see, all these components increase with time as the inflation increases. And that's why they say that government job is the most safe and secure kind of job. Now looking at the components thus far, the TA and the HRA component will make you feel like posting at a classic city will give you a higher salary. But wait, departments and location posting twists the story. Now first, we'll cover the department-wise salaries and the variations because of the allowances in different departments. And then we'll come to the location part. Now here, we are going to focus on civil heavy cadres like CPWD, Indian Railways, CES Roads, CWC, MES, BRO, etc. And these departments may hum dekhenge ki kaise salaries vary karte hain along with departments. Now for all these departments, the prime part of your salary, that is the basic pay, the HRA and the transport allowance remains the same for class X plus class Y and for class Z cities as I explained above. Now what changes we'll see now. If you're taking CPWD or Indian Railways, definitely there will be a very good exposure. For CPWD, mostly you will get big city posting like class X or class Y city maximum. 
and here the components of the salary will remain the same as I explained before. There will be no other special duty allowances or hard idea allowances for you. Now definitely for CPWD, exposure to work will be much higher and the lifestyle you will get will be a city lifestyle. So it will be a comfortable stay for you but there will be no special allowances for you. Next comes railways. In railways, much like CPWD, the exposure is much varied and the management skills are much more to gain. And although in railways the postings can be remote, the facilities you will get in railways is much better as compared to other departments. So here again, the comfortable stay will be there, but there will be no special allowances for you in the salary part. Same goes with CES roads, but then the story changes completely when you shift to military organizations like MES or BRO. In MES, mostly you are posted in remotes and if you are posted in remotes, then you will get tough location allowance that is called TLA. Now this tough location allowance varies with the level of toughness. It is defined at three levels TLA 1, 2 and 3. If it is TLA 1 then you will get a TLA of 5300 rupees per month. If it is TLA 2 you get 3400 rupees per month and if it is TLA 3 then it is 1800 rupees per month. Now of course these TLAs got hiked by 25% once the dearness allowance increased by 50%. So, you can factor in the current rate of TLA right now. And because of this one allowance alone, your salary in MES is around 10 to 15% higher than the CPWD, Railways or CS Roads counterparts. But wait, are you already happy with the 10-15% increase? Because what I'm going to tell you next will blow your mind. The factor of allowances increases considerably once you go to BRO that is border road organization. Now this department is by far the toughest department that is allotted to you through IES because of its posting locations. Now BRO uses R and H matrix. R stands for remote and H stands for hard area. Now the matrix stands as follows. You get R3, H3 that is very high remote and very hard area location. And for that you get 25,000 rupees a month extra beyond the salaries. For R2S3, you get 16,900 rupees per month. And this goes on reducing as the area and toughness level reduces. Apart from this, there are food allowance, dress allowance, and many more allowances in BRO. And on top of that, you get three months of paid leave. For more details on BRO, watch my interview about lifestyle of IS officer in BRO in this video. So based on these allowances, the BRO salary will be huge as compared to its other counterparts. But your lifestyle takes a hit because the locations will mostly be remote. Now, apart from these departments, most of other departments like Central Water Commission, Survey of India have more or less no allowances and uh, you get pretty much the first three components that I discussed before. Now, irrespective of what I spoke so far, there are allowances for remote area locations like Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Northeast, Ladakh, etc. For Northeast and Leh Ladakh region, you get 10% extra basic pay. So your basic pay becomes 110% of the basic pay of other counterparts working in prime land. Now add to that DA, HRA and other components which are part of your basic pay. This 10% basic pay is called SDA that is special duty allowance. A factor to note is that special duty allowance and toughness allowance don't go hand in hand. You get either of the two. Further, if you are posted in Andaman and Nicobar Islands or Lakshadweep Islands, the special duty allowances increases further as the variation increases in the difficulty. If you are beyond 8 km of the capital and that territory is declared as difficult, you get 16% of the basic. Similarly, there are territories that are defined as more difficult in Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands. And for posting in such territories, you get 20% of the basic. So if you open up the Google Earth and search Minikoi Islands and Great Nicobar Islands and get those small hotment locations, and if you are imagining a posting in such locations, you get 20% more basic pay as compared to the prime land. So now you have it, the entire structure of the pay that you will get in different departments. So now now, if you want a good life and metro style city posting, then CPWD is the best posting for you. But here, the allowances will take a toll and your salary will be considerably less. Similarly goes the story for Central Water Commission, CES Road, Survey of India and most of the other departments. If remoteness is okay with you and you want the highest of the salaries, go for BRO because here you will get much higher salary, a lot of leaves and a lot of facilities that is otherwise not available in other departments. But the city life takes a toll and climate and health can be serious concern for you. 
And if you are okay with medium level of difficulties, go for MES. A quick note to end the story so far, don't be excited or motivated by just the salary part, what you get in the departments. Choose the department that suits the interest of yours. If you choose a department that interests you, then you will be able to contribute more to that and you will be able to learn more on that department. And that's why it's very important that you choose the infrastructure sector which is more suited to you. If it is the roads, then go for CES roads or BRO. If it is the building, then go for CPWD. If it is the railways, then go for Indian railways. So that's it for the video. If you like the video thus far, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Ko, share with your friends. Ke this is a small channel and growing channel. And your likes and subscriptions are the only motivations that keeps me going in this channel. So see you guys in the next video. Tab tak ke liye. Bye bye.